Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy, which is basically the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, what is in your challenge position, and much, much more. Okay, how to overcome that challenge. Now, also remember, it is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, go ahead and do so. This could also be for career-related matters, love-related matters, family, friend, whatever this is pertaining to your current circumstances, take it as it resonates, okay? Also could be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant in your chart, check those out as well. And you're starting with the dominant energy of the base chakra with number one. Look at that beautiful red color. So this is something here having to do with balancing out your base chakra or this situation pertaining to or related to your base chakra, which is the chakra that makes you feel secure? What is it that makes you feel safe? What is it that makes you feel secure? This chakra also is related to matters of career, matters of money, whatever makes you feel like you are secure in this world, okay? Material matters, that sort of thing. So what is it around you, okay, that perhaps you need to work on or maybe balance out in your life that has to do with what makes you feel safe and secure, okay? We're going to see why this is here, but also with the number one, that means that there's going to be a fresh new beginning coming towards you. This is the energy of number one, which is, again, this is some kind of a new chapter in your life. Let's see what is going on here for you. You have here the seven of pentacles, could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, could be money related. I see a lot of pentacles here. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius could also be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What else do you have here? Okay, so I see new love. Wow. Brand new love. That could also be one of the chapters in your life that is opening up for you. And at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of money, abundance coming in for you. Congratulations. This is all about you reveling in your accolades, okay? Re reveling in that energy of victory, okay? This could also be related to a, a marriage that you are in right now, a commitment that you are in right now. But for others of you guys, it could also be a business, you know, kind of hitting that big number now. A lot of money coming in, your abundance coming in. If somebody owes you money, I do see it coming in as well, okay? But for others of you guys, if this is love related, this has to do with a commitment, something here that has been long term or will be leading to something long term, okay? Now, I'll see here with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been putting in the work into something and you're like, it's not happening. Why is this not happening? You're kind of like tapping your foot and you're just waiting and waiting and you're like, is this even worth my time? So you're kind of wondering, is this worth your time? Should you just kind of like take a step back? Did you waste your time? You know, you're kind of overthinking the situation to see when is this going to bear fruit? When is something going to finally move and happen for you in your challenge position, the nine of pentacles. So it's going to be a little bit challenging for some of you guys to feel that sense of ease and independence. You right now, you might be feeling like you have to save your money, like you can't really spend your money, you know, money related matters, that sort of thing, but it's coming in. I see a lot of abundance coming in, but however, right now I feel like it's going to be challenging for you to think on your own to feed it. It's kind of like there's this energy of codependency. It could also be challenging for you to think for yourself in regards to, I'll give you an example. Say, for example, you are in a relationship, right? And perhaps that relationship is not working right now. And you're like, well, maybe I should just stay in the relationship because this person provides some kind of sense of stability or security for you. Remember, this is all about materialism, security, what makes you feel safe and secure. For some, it could be money. For others of you guys, it could be love, whatever this is. But you don't feel secure without that outside thing. It's going to be challenging for you to feel secure secure without that outside thing. And that's something that you have to work on because you should always feel secure in your own energy, no matter what outside circumstances are occurring in your life. Okay. So that's something here that you need to work on because it is going to be challenging you here with the two of swords. However, I feel like you're trying to make a decision. You know, you desire to finally make a decision based on two things, two people, two situations, a yes or a no, you know, maybe or no, maybe or yes, you know, that sort of thing. So I feel like right now you're overthinking something and you are creating your own stalemate. So you desire to 
get unstuck. I feel like you want to get get rid of this thing that makes you feel like you cannot move, you cannot say, you cannot speak, you cannot, you know, um, maybe change your circumstances. There's something here that you need to finally decide on, okay? I feel like you haven't yet made some kind of a decision, whether this is fear holding you back, whether this is denial holding you back, whether this is acceptance holding you back. Something here that you need to really kind of, you know, be honest with yourself about is what I'm sensing, okay? Here with the nine of cups also, this is the root of the issue. The root of the issue is somebody here is being a little bit too concerned with themselves, okay? Sometimes you cannot see, you know, outside of yourself uh, when you are in this energy. Why? Because it's kind of like that energy where sometimes people think to themselves, well, why am I not manifesting something? The root of the issue is the fact that you feel like you're not manifesting what you desire. It's like you keep trying, you keep giving, but it doesn't come in, okay? And sometimes you cannot see the reason why if you're not willing to open up and give of yourself as well, okay? Now here with the Eight of Pentacles, I see that in the recent past, you did put in a lot of work and you did put in a lot of effort and that's why right now you're feeling a little bit like, okay, when is this going to happen? Why is my manifestation not coming in? Because I feel like part of you has already given it enough time, enough energy, and enough effort coming towards you. There will be a disagreement between you and a person or you and a group of people. I see that there's going to be some kind of a slight disagreement where you think one thing, this person thinks another thing, and somebody here might be walking away. But when they walk away, they're going to walk away with a sense of disappointment. Okay. Now I do see here in your subconsciousness, you want to celebrate, you want to socialize, you want to go out, you want to, you know, you want to be around people, you want to be around your friends, your family members. But there's something here that perhaps is holding you back. Maybe you don't want to spend money. Maybe right now you don't feel like you have enough money. Or for others of you guys, you just feel like, you know, there's something here that is keeping you stuck and you're not able to socialize or be with friends or be with family members or take a trip, the trip that you want, because something here is holding you back, okay? But that is what you desire also. The Ace of Cups here means that somebody is falling in love with you. There's new love coming in for you. Somebody sees you as their the love of their life, basically. This is how they see you. I see that this person and you might be starting something with regards to a new chapter in love as well. Now here with the Four of Wands, your action advice, okay, is to fix something that is broken. Here with the Four of Wands, whether it's you fixing it in the way where you finally release it forever and you start a new chapter or whether you fix it by actually, you know, coming together and working something out. But I do see that your action advice is to let something go that is no longer serving you. Maybe you're trying to keep up with some something that you know is not good for you. You're trying to keep it in your life, but this is telling you it's time for you to release what no longer serves you, okay, to let it go. Also here with the seven of cups, the reason why is because you have a lot of options. You will have a lot of options. If you don't see them right now, they're coming in, okay? Maybe you don't realize this because you're still stuck in some kind of situation that is holding you back. But again, I'm telling you right now that you're coming into a lot of options. Now let's go ahead and clarify why base chakra is here. Why is your base chakra here as your dominant energy? And you have here the death as well as a two of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, also the nine of swords. So yeah, there's some kind of anxiety, sleepless nights, you know, maybe a lot of stress that you're going through right now. And this stress is basically having to do with you creating imaginary scenarios that are not going to happen. Okay. You're kind of creating the worst case scenario in your mind when in reality, nothing is happening. I'll give you an example. Say, for example, somebody here you're talking to, and this person doesn't text you right away. Right. So you start overthinking. You're like, Oh my God, that person doesn't like you anymore. That person, you know, is rejecting you. That person might've found somebody new, you know, when in reality, that person's probably just busy at work, right? They probably just missed your text message or, you know, they, they just kind of flew by the time just flew by and they're like, Oh wow. You know, you text me like five hours ago. So there's that energy here of self-induced anxiety. Okay. That you need to be aware of and start working on that because that's not healthy for you. Now I also see that there's going to be some kind of an ending. Okay. Here with base chakra, remember, we are clarifying that could be Scorpio energy doesn't have to be, but I do see that there's something here that you have to end and you have been 
undecided about this. You've been kind of weighing out the pros, the cons, pluses, minuses, but it's time for you to make a final decision because I do see a brand new person coming in who is stable. This brand new person will only come in when you make that decision to let something go that does not serve you. I feel like you will be having stability with this person. This person is a very loyal individual. They're a natural caregiver, a natural provider, and I feel like this person is there for long term. Okay. Now we're going to be going into the extent to see who this person is. I also want to dive deeper into this love situation because somebody sees you as the love of their life. They're falling in love with you or they're kind of like trying to manifest you as their soulmate. Whatever the, this is, there's brand new love here for you. So we're going to dive deeper into this person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper emotions, their feelings for you, their next moves and actions towards you, how this entire situation is all going to turn out for you, what's going to be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And if you are interested in my worldwide personal matchmaking service, Services, you can now sign up for free in the matchmaking link that is down in the description box below. This is a great opportunity to find love, connect with a soulmate and or if you're single and are ready to find the one. Again, the link to my matchmaking services is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Soar source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.